Today I'm going to show you how to put square holes in steel with no special tools. Pretty much just no machinist tools, no lathes, no mills, just regular crap that everybody has in their garage. Want to find out how? Keep watching. So how did I make a piece of rebar, put a square hole and a piece of quarter inch plate? Easy. Let me show you. So all we're going to do is take a piece of rebar, grind four sides flat so we have a square, the same size hole that we want. We're going to sharpen the edge, harden it, and it is a brooch we can hammer through. This is one I made before. It's cut a, quite a few holes. It's a little beat up. So we're going to start over from scratch. I'm going to make a new one. And you can keep sharpening and editing this once you make it one time. Just keep going. Uh, this is a piece of half inch rebar. You can barely get a 3 8 you know, a 3 8 square out of it. This is a piece of 5 8 rebar. And you could probably get about a 7 16 um, square out of it. You want to be able to get a half inch square out of it. Barely not. Maybe. But it'd be close. So all we're going to do. Is chuck this in the vise, a hand file if you wanted. Um, before rebar is actually not that hard before you actually harden it, but it hardens amazingly well. So now it's just a matter of I'm just gonna take my flap disc and we're just gonna square it up. There we go, roughly three eighths by three eighths. The more time you spend on this, the better. Um, but, but we're there good enough for a carriage bolt or whatever. Now what we're going to do is most bro brooches you see people make are interior brooches and they kind of just push the metal out. This is actually going to shave the metal off the outsides and push it towards the center. So now we just need to dish out the center in there. And so you actually need, you could drill it with a drill bit and then kind of fine tune it. You could use a file or something else like that. I actually like to use a uh, Dremel with a really small, um, where's that, with just a really small blade because then I can just use the contour of the dish of the blade just to kind of ride in there. You don't need huge, but I'll just ride it around in there and I'm going to keep each one of these four corners as points and so each one of those need to come to like, it's going to look like a king's crown, essentially like a four pronged king's crown. Um, dished, dished every single way with these little four points as the uh, as the crown. So I'll play around with that now. Just taking a round like chainsaw file. I'll show you the contour in a second. There you go. Not perfect, but that's what you want. Sharp edges. A dish like I said you could even kind of use a drill bit and kind of drill in there first but chances are you're gonna get a little off-centered I think the grinder works a little bit better the little bit of a file a little just combination of everything trying to make your walls as flat as um, you know as straight as possible and now we're just gonna harden it and we only want to harden the tip because we're hammering on this part and so we don't want to make any of this part brittle so it's just the very tip and so it's just a matter of heating it up till it's red hot and just quenching it in water. You can do oil as well, but I think water actually makes it even harder. And it'll actually retain its edge really well. I'm going to use two propane, just propane. Red hot! this into water. Just a tip. We want this to be soft so we don't want any of that to, we just want that to cool off naturally. Um, it's actually not that hot but we want to make sure we kept our nice edge and it feels like we did because now you won't be able to run a file across this. This right here is going to be hardened. That is nice and hard. That whole, you know, the whole probably half to three quarters of an inch is nice hardened steel now. And it holds up really good. So now it's just a matter of let's make the hole. If you're this far in the video, don't be a square. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Got a piece of quarter inch plate here. We'll just come over and 
we're doing a 3 8 square hole so first thing we need to do is just drill a 3 8 hole so wherever now it's just a matter of actually taking our brooch setting it over where we want to drill the hole where we want to broach the hole and then it's just a matter of just hammering it home first we're going to start out on a flat surface like this and then once it gets through a little ways we're actually going to move it up to so it can push through you know like the vice jaws or you could lay two flat pieces of metal just so you have somewhere to push it through if you do it on too wide of surface obviously hammering I'm going to start bending the whole piece of metal but we'll just start it out right here put the safety glasses on because we do have hardened steel down here and if you get it too hard sometimes it'll chip off a little corner or something like that it can fracture so if you do that after you harden it with water it depends on the the uh, the rebar some is harder than others uh, some has different content than others but if it chips off, you just resharpen it and heat it up. Just like warm it up till it's hot, not red hot, and then let it cool. And that will anneal it a little bit and it shouldn't chip off again. But we'll get it right where we think we want it. I don't know if you can see, but it's starting to push. The material into the center. You can see we're getting there. This is such a small piece I am starting to bend it just a, a little bit. But you can see it's there and it's mushrooming out the other side. So now it's just a matter of driving it all the way home. Square hole, carriage bolt. You could touch it up a little bit with a file, I guess, if you wanted, but we damaged the tip a little bit. But I mean, once you have this square shank right here, it just takes a second to resharpen it up. And you just go again, you know, this is quarter inch. This is thicker than you probably will ever need to draw one in. Generally, you're, you know, most of the time I do this, I'm doing in eighth inch max, maybe you know, maybe we're going up to 12 gauge or something, but you know, you could, I see no reason why you couldn't drive this, you know, might have to sharpen a couple times, why you can drive this through three eighths or even half inch steel. If you just, you know, if you're just really determined, you might want a bigger sledgehammer, but you, you know, the bigger recess you do in here, the better, um, but you need to keep the integrity of these teeth. 16 gauge steel, drilled my approximate three eighths hole. We'll put this around it. We can put this on just like a two by four backing or some sort of hardwood. Harder wood, any sort of wood, I guess. Hardwood would sink in less. Let's line that up. We're all the way through. There was some deformation a little bit. Not bad. I mean, it's only as good as the die that you make. And just to see if it's possible, here's a 5 8 hole that I just barely made. And what I did is I just ground off one side. So I essentially just almost made it a chisel. There's a little camp chamfer in there. But I just took it here, 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 and just went around maybe two maybe three times and just cut it all the way out and it was no issue whatsoever so hey thanks for joining me in the shop if this video helped you out help me out thumbs up leave a comment below read them all or even better yet subscribe see you guys soon bye don't be a square subscribe hurry
It's not gonna last forever. Bring it here. <laughs> Come on, bring it here. I gotta go that far for it. <laughs> 